Hi everybody, my name's uh, Gordon Spence. I am postdoctoral fellow at Coaching Psychology at the University of Sydney, so I work down the corridor from Tony. Um, I must say it's a pleasure to be here today. We're only halfway around the group and I've already, my mind is starting to sort of bulge and my brain is starting to hurt. Uh, so it's a wonderful thing to be here. Um, my relationship to coaching research is, is um, well, many things. I am a, an active researcher, part of the project that Tony described a little earlier. Um, my uh, doctoral thesis, which I finished in 2006, looked at um, mindfulness training and the integration of mindfulness training into coaching practice. Um, so I'm a researcher. I am also a consumer of uh, coaching research as a practitioner. Um, I work as a, an executive and workplace coach and, and, and uh, maintain a private practice. I'm also a, a mentor and supervisor of, of coaching researchers. A lot of people come and knock on my door who are interested in doing PhDs and, and various research projects. So I found myself increasingly taking on that role as well. There are a number of different areas that I'd be very interested to, um, to throw into the, into the space here as the next couple of days and also explore myself over the next couple of years. And I guess you know, outcome studies is something I'm very interested in. I'm interested in the impact of coaching on coaches, the people we work with. Um, I'm particularly interested in um, the impact of health coaching for um, promoting and, and, and helping people sustain positive health behaviours. I've had some interesting discussions already in the last couple of days around that. Very exciting stuff. I'm also really interested in um, a question of what's the impact of coaching on the people that coach? Yeah, really interesting. And there's a great paper written by um, uh, Boyatzis a couple of years ago about uh, um, uh, coaching with compassion. And I'm really interested in throwing this idea into this space and asking questions, you know, can coaching actually act as an antidote to, for stress? And you know, do leaders who coach others with development experience, you know, in terms of just promoting the development of another, does that lead to compassion? And if it does, does that coaching with compassion help leaders to um, uh, uh, ameliorate the, the negative effects of stress? Does it help to promote well-being, enhance effectiveness and sustainability? I think that's a fascinating question. Also interested in uh, professional practices and duty of care. And, you know, I'm interested in asking questions about how do coaches look after the best interests of their clients. If we're moving in the, in the direction of professionalisation, I think this is key. The questions like how do coaches distinguish between appropriate and inappropriate coaching issues, to what degree are coaches able to identify underlying psychological issues in their clients, etc. Also very interested too in um, using self-determination theory as a framework for coaching and looking at the degree to which coaching actually helps people to satisfy basic psychological needs, autonomy, competence and relatedness.